Real talk, I didn't even know about dogs, and my kids got the dog. They brought him home from the shelter, and I didn't even want him. They were like, can we keep him? I said, nope. I said, where'd you even get this dog? They're like, we got him from the shelter. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Probably something wrong with him. <laughs> Can't keep him. And then my kids started crying and screaming like the dog had gambling debts. Please, Dad, if you don't let us keep him, they're gonna kill him. I was like, <laughs> All right, you can keep him. And this dog was a menace. I hated his guts. Then one night I had smoked a bunch of weed and I was eating a sandwich and Baba came over. Baba's a dog. He came over and was staring at me. This would make you very uncomfortable if you're just looking at you. Like... I had to give him a piece of my sandwich so he'd go away. And that's how we became friends. <laughs> now, if you see me walking down the street with Baba, I ain't got no leash or nothing. He walks right next to me. If I, if I stop, he'll stop. And if I go, he'll go. And all my friends are like, yo, Dave, that is dope. How you train Baba to do that hmm? I've never trained Baba. <laughs> Just a messy eater. If I drop food and Baba's not around, all I gotta do is call him, Baba! He's a black dude's dog, so he doesn't come right away. He peeks first to see what's going on. <laughs> I gotta tap my foot so he can see the food. Over here, little buddy. And he's like, thanks, David. He'll come get it and run off. But he knows all my habits. Like, if he smells weed in the house, he'll be like, this motherfucker's about to eat, and he'll just come running. Baba got me through a very difficult time in my marriage. We spend the most time together. Like, it's not that me and my wife don't spend time together, but we've been married so long, it's like we don't, we don't talk. Like, I don't know if anyone's married here, but if after 10 years, all that chatty shit goes away. You've, you've said it all. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, we're just in the zone. She says the same shit to me every night before she goes to bed. I'll be the last one up. She's like, I'm gonna get some sleep, Dave. Good night. All right, baby, stay up and watch television. Good night. And she'll walk halfway up the steps. David? Huh? <laughs> Don't eat the kids' lunch. And then she walks away. <laughs> well, the crazy shit is I don't even eat their lunch anymore. Back in the day, I used to eat that shit. You know how that goes. I might smoke some weed in the middle of the night and she'll leave neatly wrapped sandwiches all over the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> What's the big deal? Why can't she just make another one in the morning? I mean, it's like, I got sons anyway. And sons love everything their dads do. My kids will be at school the next day, just look like, oh, dad bit my sandwich, oh, shit!